All right, everyone, it's time for a dedicated video on the topic of postmodernism, one of the most hideous things ever to plague mankind. Uh, people who do postmodern art, for example, they shit on a canvas or they smear some paint randomly on it or do something else that's like it's totally nonsensical. It does not represent anything. When they say that it represents something or whatever you happen to think it represents, they're being dishonest, just a marketing tactic to make them sound more intelligent than they are because they don't have the intelligence to make real art. And I say, I say that literally, it's not art. Sorry, but it's just not. Uh, it's just Dadaism minus the honesty. You see, people in the anarchic period of art, we're talking the early 20th century especially, in that anarchic period, they would do all sorts of weird stuff, like they would dress up in boxes, or they would pile trash there and call it art, and release some artistic manifesto, and it was, it was a reaction to the chaos and stupidity of society. The idea was, you're all fools, the world is foolish, you know, this doesn't stand for anything, but there are people dumb enough to say that it does because you're all morons, basically. It was a satire, it was a brilliant form of satire in that same period of art. Now you've got the same sort of quality or style, you could call it, if, if that term even really applies. But there's no honesty there. Uh, the people will never admit, yeah, it stands for absolutely nothing. Like, I'm basically just bilking people and laughing at how dumb they are. That's essentially what postmodern art boils down to. It represents nothing, requires no skill. Anybody can take a pile of random objects and throw them in the corner. Uh, to the point at which, <clears throat> if you were to take the average like modern art display. Somebody would be hard pressed, if it weren't in a gallery, people would be hard pressed to determine whether it was art or a pile of trash most of the time. Now I've seen people who do postmodern art who also do very, very good uh, art, something that's like like really, really out there, like some of them they dabble in like the psychedelia and surrealism, I like that, or even like romanticism or something, you know, the Bob Ross paintings. Uh, but the postmodern art that they're commissioning and actually selling is just dumb. It doesn't represent, I'm sorry, it just doesn't have any mental awareness whatsoever to it. This extends beyond art in the literal art sense, though. It extends to architecture. Postmodern architecture is hideous, and it's even worse, in my opinion. Postmodern architecture is the worst. It's far, far, uh more of a negative impact on society than postmodern art, like in an actual gallery. Because you're not compelled to walk into an art gallery on a regular basis, you know, to look at the trash piles that they're selling for inordinate sums. But you probably do drive past a bunch of postmodern buildings, and they're all hideous. Every single one of them is disgusting. We're starting to crawl our way out of the postmodern art period as applied to architecture. So that there are some new buildings being created that actually have some flair to them. Like they look interesting. They're functional, but they're decorative and stuff. It's like they're building them all, all the time in Dubai. It's just here in the United States and in Western Europe, everything is basically, hey, we painted a cardboard box, put some cement on it, and called it a house. We called it a business or something. There's no, there's, there's nothing cultural behind it. There's no meaning whatsoever. It's just, it's applied dataism without the honesty. It's also not efficient. Yeah, let's, let's make everything very flat and easily weathered out of shitty material, slap a coat of paint on it. Uh, it do, there's no rhyme or reason as far as efficiency goes. Yeah, let's just build that for a change. Let's waste materials on stuff that'll crumble into the ground within a hundred years. Meanwhile, you got Art Deco skyscrapers. They're still standing tall with minimal maintenance. They're highly efficient. Art Nouveau, a little bit less on the efficiency side, but certainly decorative. Those are the art styles that are really cool. Art Nouveau is great. Even uh, the early postmodernist period where we're talking about like, uh, like the 1980s with pop art from that period, some of that is good. It does take talent, like Patrick Nagel's work or something. You know, you've, you probably know that best as being what the uh, illustrations for GTA Vice City were based off of. Yeah, that stuff is, is okay, because sort of like a latent Art Deco anyway, just in a modified, more, more bubblegum colored format, but it's good. Uh, but other than that, we've had very little in the way of actual you know, entertaining art. Music is following through too. Postmodern music is just a mashup of other styles put to random music, uh, I mean, random lyrics that don't have any meaning, 
It's just basically, oh, generic, generic chart topping, uh, so-called pop song of the year, number 13, called, Hey Bitch, We Are Going to Fornicate. That's basically what it is. Or, or, uh, hey, I've got lots of money, lol, you know, put this on the top of the charts. That's what music has devolved into, too. So I don't listen to the modern, there's a few songs that are standouts. Some of it almost is like, it's got the, a cabaret inclusion into it or some weird shit. It's like uh, uh, hip hop and pop both have to rip off other forms. So they like, they absorb parts of dubstep or cabaret or even like, or, or synth pop or something like that. That makes it listenable. Okay. That requires at least some thought. That requires at least a little bit of talent. It's still auto-tuned to hell. Like, you no longer have to have a good voice. You just have to look good for the cameras. So why call it singing? Just call it, oh, you know, I have a backing track and I'm a celebrity. Famous for being famous without any actual talent. It's what it is. Uh, Postmodernism is a celebration of ugliness. It's a celebration of degeneration and decadence and decay. It's a celebration of everything wrong with the world. Uh, in its most pure essence. It's a celebration of ugliness. Hey, let's see how ugly we can make these uh, whack-ass buildings over here, and then we'll call them decorative. We'll say that it's an art, for, an architectural form of any value. No, you know, uh, postmodern art really resembles the sort of shit cave people were doing tens of thousands of years ago. Oh, I'm just going to scratch some random lines into this chalk on the side of the cave. That looks cool. Here, let me very crudely draw a stick figure. It represents something. If our, if our culture were to die today, archaeologists uh, a thousand years later would dig up the remnants and they'd take one look at the modern art so-called and the architect should say, this culture really went backwards. Either that or it had already experienced some sort of major disaster, had lost its technological and social literacy, and regressed backwards several centuries, and that's why we're seeing all this decadence. It's almost, a, if you've ever uh, listened to or read At the Mountains of Madness by H.P. Lovecraft, the, the elder ones in that mythos, they sort of, they start off, they actually regress, they become more decadent and less developed and less sophisticated over time as a result of of pressure on and sort of decay away into the ice. Uh, that's sort of the way we're going. We're decaying uh, collectively in this world as a people. Meanwhile, there are rising groups in the world. They're still, they still have meaning behind their art. They still have meaning and efficiency in mind with their architecture. They're still building the skyscrapers. They still have an appreciation for culture. In the West, no, none. Absolutely none. There are a few new buildings that are going up here and there now that have broken with the, the, the now decades-old tradition of being specifically as inefficient and ugly as possible. There are now a few people that are making actual art again, and it's, you know, capable of paying their bills. But not many. It's going to take a long time to reverse that decadence. And we need to, because yeah, it's just, it's hideous. Yeah, we're going to build a postmodern-looking school. It's going to look like a prison, basically. Just a bunch of slabs, uh, hideous, you know, windows, and then throw a fence around it, topped with barbed wire, probably, to keep all the uh, to ke to keep all the evil doers out, as though it'll work. Uh, that's basically the name of the game. It's so hideous. It's like here, in the stagnating small towns of northern New England, there's not a whole lot of postmodern material. It's not like an urban area or an area that's growing quickly. Here, it's a lot of the buildings date to the. Uh, well, well before the modern period, we're talking pre-Art Deco with a lot of, we're talking the mid-1800s. There are buildings here in Rutland that date to the Civil War period. There are buildings in uh, Woodstock. I think the apartment I was living in dated to the 1830s, if I remember correctly. Look, it was, and it, it hadn't changed at all. It still hasn't. I'm surprised it's still standing considering how non-sturdy it really is. I don't think it's seen significant maintenance in a hundred years. Roof used to, you know, have cave-ins every spring. The water up there would pool up, poorly drained, uh, and it would come down like a waterfall. Somehow this hasn't destroyed the building yet. I'm surprised uh, every time I think of it. I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's still there. Ten years from now, it probably will be. It's like the town that never changed. It's actually eerie. But uh, that's better than postmodernism. Way better. People should go back to doing Art Nouveau and Art Deco and things that are actually decorative. They look good. They celebrate They celebrate what can be beautiful, what can be functional, mixing efficiency with aesthetics uh, and things like that as far as architecture goes. 
and saying to your your students some art class oh yeah just smear the fucking canvas with your urine that's how you make money okay you're a real artist yeah <laughs> that makes sense that used to stand for something yeah the, the artists used to be poor people now they can get really wealthy all they have to do is sell out and start doing stuff that's not remotely artistic you know I, I little kids drawing stick figures can do better art than some of these people that are graduating and graduate with honors from some art school all they can do is scribble it's like it's so messed up it doesn't stand for anything it's trash it's literal garbage that's all it is that's about all peace out